Hey guys, I'm going to be going over how I implemented attaching multiple images to post when users are uploading for Jibber, our federated social network that we're building. Subscribe for the progress of that. And just to give you a demo, if you click attachment, and then let's say we select three files, and then the post button becomes available, if you click post, and then uploads all of those. So let's get into how I implemented this. First thing to note is in the feed, there's this create post component. And if we look at that, there's several flows that a user can go through. So a user can have content and they can also set files. So let's go over setting files. Uh, there's this button when a user clicks it, it then references this input. And then when the input changes, like when you select the files, we then set the files as React state. And then the button that uh, is occasionally or conditionally disabled. And we look, if there are files available, then it's no longer disabled. So the user can click and upload the files. So let's say you click and create the post. We then go to create post. We loop through all the pre-signed URLs, which we get from this uh, other TRPC use query. Basically, pre-signed URLs allow users to upload from their browser directly to an S3 compatible server. And we just get the length of the number of files we want to upload. And we only enable this if we want to actually have files to upload. And we run that, and then we get returned, let's say we attach three files, then we get three pre-signed URLs that we can then use on the client, you know, the browser, to upload those attachments to S3. So that's what we do here. We loop through these pre-signed URLs, and we just, you know, verify that the key and the URL are available. If so, the key is, you know, the S3 key. So if those are available, then put the file into S3, and then attach the key and the extension of the file to this uploads variable. And then we call the second TRPC function uh, called create on the post route. So if we actually look at the router, whoops, we have this create function that's a mutation. So we can use this mutation here. So use mutation, and then we call it in our create post. So post.mutate, which actually calls the mutation function. We pass along the content, which is just the text the user typed, along with those files that we uploaded to S3. And so then we get to the create on the TRPC router. And we create a Prisma transaction, we create the post, we upload all the files to S3, we do some confirmation with the extension, check the file type and so on, then attach it to the post, and then we return the post. And so now that the post has been returned, it will call this on success once the mutation has finished. So we clear out the content and the files, and then we check if the user has session data, if it has session data, then we want to update the, the user's post list. So we get their post list by calling utils, which is just uh, your TRPC use context. So we just do TRPC use context, uh, which that's what the API import is from, is from TRPC. And then we get the route that the data is fetched from. So we're fetching our post from the get by user ID route. And so we set the that uh, routes data to have the previous data along with the new post. That way we save on a fetch to the server. And now that new post will be rendered. So if we go and look in post, there is this attachments component right here. And we create a tailwind grid that takes up 
Um, however much room the post set, that's why it's full width and full height. And we set conditional gr grid rows and columns on it. So if you're wondering like why, uh, you know, these conditional statements are here, if the attachment's length is less than or equal to two, then we'll only want one row because all of the images will fit on one row. Like if we look at this, see how this is just one row. And then let's say that's more than two, then we'll need multiple rows. See how this has two rows. And then let's say there's only one attachment, then that will take up a full one by one like this. So then if there's more than one attachment, we'll need two because, you know, if there's more than two or more than one, see how there's two rows and then also two, or I'm sorry, I meant two columns. And then there's also more than two columns here too, or there's only two columns. Oh gosh, this is quite convoluted, but that is quite a lot of logic to go through. And then we just loop through the attachments and we render the attachments. It's just a normal Next.js image. I'll probably add other media formats in the future, but this is just a overview of how the user uploading multiple attachments works right now. Subscribe, follow my progress. Thank you very much.